Let's review some concepts associated with so-called hexadecimal format. In particular, I want to explore how we can display an integer in base 16 given a binary pattern. You'll find that hexadecimal format is very common because it's more compact than a binary or base 2 display, and it's also easy to visualize the underlying binary version. And that's not easy to do uh, in many cases with decimal format. Well, let's consider an example of a fairly long binary pattern. This would be a 32-bit integer. I'm indicating the radix with the subscript there, so we're dealing with base 2. And supposing we want to uh, express this binary pattern in base 16. Well, let's scoot this up a bit so we have a little bit more working area. Now here's what we do. First, let's write out all possible 4-bit patterns. We would have a total of 2 to the 4th or 16 possible patterns. And I'm just writing these out in order from 0 to 1 to 2 and so forth. And you could keep going this or keep going this way to write out all 16, but eventually you start to realize that the least significant bit column simply alternates back and forth between 0 and 1. So we can write that down quickly. Well, then we see the next column goes by pairs. We have a pair of zeros and then a pair of ones. Looks like here we probably go in groups of four. And finally we go in groups of eight. So if you write your patterns column-wise, you can go much more quickly and also do so without making any errors. Sometimes it's easy to forget a pattern if you just write them out sequentially. Now when we express these values or these binary patterns as unsigned integers, keep going down the line here, 0 through 9, then the question is, well, isn't this 10? Well, yes it is. It is written out as 1, 0 if we were dealing with base 10, but actually we want to think about base 16, which has 16 possible symbols. So it looks like 1, 0 is using up two symbols instead of one. So it's conventional then to fill out the rest of the chart here using letters of the alphabet, starting with A, and ending with F. Next, we group the bits into sets of four. Also, it's important to always remember to start at the LSB side, or the right side of the pattern when you do this. Now, the, the notion of four here is, is the, the idea that 2 raised to the 4th power is 16. So there's a special relationship there between base 16 numbers and base 2 numbers. Then go ahead and match the 4-bit patterns to those hex or hexadecimal characters or uh, values. So here I'm just looking to find matches in the binary patterns then I write down the numerical value. And if you end up doing this kind of thing a lot, eventually you will be able to com commit all of these values to memory and be able to do this pretty quickly. And I'll just go ahead and write out all of those individual hexadecimal values as the result. So it, again, when, we're con when we are uh, more accustomed to decimal numbers, looking at something that starts with a letter doesn't feel like a number, but uh, this uh, again is a pretty popular way of, of expressing integer values. Let's also consider an example where the number of bits is not a multiple of four. Oh, here I have a pattern with six bits total. Now a common error here would be to start at the left side. That is, you would start grouping, working from left to right, and you conclude that that was a B. 
Then you say, oh, zero, 01, what do I do with that? Hmm, well, gee, should we put in some zeros there? Let's go ahead and try that and see what happens. Well, we would find 0, 1, 0, 0, and that's 4. So with this mistake, uh, one would conclude that the base 16 value is B4. Now we've got a problem here because as soon as you start adding zeros to the right side, you are basically making the number larger. You've changed the value from the original pattern. This would be a bit like saying you wanted to add an extra zero to your paycheck each month and uh, expect that to not bother the accounting department. So instead, we always start our grouping at the right or LSB side. And it's not a problem to add zeros on the MSB side or on the left side. All right, we can find that pattern pretty readily. That would be two. This one down here looks like it has the value D. There it is. So this six-bit binary pattern when interpreted in hexadecimal format is 2D.